We have two 12 2 Romax wires come out of this box right here. We're going to mount a just a regular duplex uh, outlet in here. This is actually a tamper proof outlet that the inspector requires here. There, so two terminals, you know, for the neutral, two for the hot, and one for the ground. You'll actually see how we're going to do this. Uh, one of these wires is feeding uh, from, from the panel. The other wire is feeding additional outlets uh, down, down the wall here. So you'll see exactly how we do this here. Skinning the Romax, running the blade down the side of the ground wire where we can't cut the, the two, uh, you know, the black or the white wire here. We don't want to skin those up. We want to run the knife right down to them. Now do that once again here where you can see exactly how we do that, sticking the knife in the wire there. This is a skinny knife that I, I prefer using. Uh, I can kind of speed up the process here. So we skin both of them, kind of do things in steps here. There, so as we do this, so we're gonna cut all the excess sheathing off there. Gotta make sure we're not cutting uh, the, the three wires that are in the sheathing uh, when we cut the, uh, the yellow sheathing and cardboard off here. So very important that you pay attention to where your dikes are, which is what I'm using to cut. These are what I'm referring to as uh, dikes here angled dikes, uh, they work really well. So that's that, we're done with those. Now we're gonna address the ground wires. Uh, we only have one grounding screw on the outlet here. So I'm gonna show you how we're actually gonna tie those together where the entire circuit is grounded, making a, a good connection. This is just a two port push in that I use here. And you'll watch what I'm gonna do right here. Uh, I'm gonna stamp off this edge right here where one of the wires can actually slide through. They make wire nuts for the same purpose, but uh, I use these. Uh, they work a lot better. They speed up the process. They still make a good connection. So where I snipped off the wire, as you can see this corner cut off right here, we're gonna stick the long wire in and let it go continuous through the connector. Just kind of wiggle it, work it in there. And we're going to stick this other one. We're going to cut it off where it folds up in the box. There's not too much excess here. You'll see. Very important that you see the connectors right here. You can actually see there the connectors where the wires are sticking through. Very important that the wires come all the way to the end of the connector. Very important because that connection, especially the ground, is very crucial in this circuit. Okay, now we're going to move over to the two uh neutrals and the two hots here i'm going to trim everything up to appropriate length here now we're going to curl the wires where they wrap around the screws i prefer using outlets to have side wire connections where the wire slides in and we don't have to do that when you're using a actual tamper proof outlet which is what we're currently installing here you can't do that so you actually have to bend the wrap the wires around which makes us makes a really good connection this way they've been done for years so absolutely nothing wrong with doing it this way so we've got the ground on now we're going to do a two two neutrals there and i always give them an extra little encouragement here uh, bending them around the screws and then we do the hots the same way very very important that when you wrap the wire around the screw there that you make sure it is going in the direction so let me just kind of go over that for example so here i'm just going to do another wire right here where you can see exactly what i'm doing uh this is just a, another wire that i've got sitting right here with me here so what i'm going to do i'm going to bend the wire so let's talk about the importance of this wire being wrapped the right way remember righty tighty lefty loosey uh here so when i tighten this screw right here uh 
when the wire is going in a clockwise, the screw goes in a clockwise rotation. So we want the wire to go in a clockwise rotation. See, see the loop right there? We want, so when that screw tightens, we want it to kind of let the copper wire wrap around the screw in the right direction. If you put it on in the non-direction here, backwards, what will happen is when you tighten that screw, the wire will want to work its way off as the screw is tightened. So that's the importance of making sure that the wire is going in the direction that the screw is turning. So this would be the wrong direction. This would be the correct direction there. Very, very important. So when you tighten those, that those go on there and they make a good connection. So when you switch over to the other side of the out, to the neutrals, you got to remember, you've got to turn the wire around to wrap it around the, the correct way here. So in which we do, we have it correctly done here. So very important that these uh, go on that way. Everybody likes to use impact and I'll use impact as well, putting, putting these ant screws, but I always snug them up with a screwdriver. Uh, I put my outlets with the ground hole up. There's no NEC requirement saying which direction they go. So it's kind of whatever, whatever floats your boat here. And you're gonna see these little jewels right here. These are just little tabs that extend the outlet out. You can see uh, right here that the box is not flush with the sheetrock here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the box is flush with the sheetrock. So when we put the cover on the, and you push on it, it doesn't break the cover or the outlet doesn't jiggle in the wall there. So you gotta just kind of guess and get the right, uh, right distance there. The top only needs one shim, I guess would be the correct word to use. And then we put these in and we'll see what it looks like here. So now you can see Don't get too aggressive with the impact there. Just strip it every time. Uh, the sheet rocking wasn't A-OK -okay on this one, but it will work. We can get a larger cover to cover the, what they refer to as an oversized plate. This is just a standard uh, outlet plate here. And so, yeah, that looks good. We wanna make sure the outlet is, is in the plate straight there so you know in other words you don't want when you look at the outlet there you don't want the out the outlet you know sticking out sideways like that or, or one side sticking in like that it just looks really sloppy so we want to make sure the cover makes a nice good fit so when it's going in and out of the when something is being plugged in and out of it it doesn't uh break uh the outlet or the cover so in this case right here, what we'll do, uh, the cover doesn't cover the sheetrock. So instead of coming back in and re-sheetrocking and painting uh, because of the excess cutting of the sheetrock there, we'll just put an oversized cover on it and it will kind of extend over over and cover all this and you'll never know it was uh, there or whatever. So one duplex tamper-proof outlet installed.